I'm so quirky for not fully getting ready. Um, because I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, so I lied. We're not chatting. Also, not Halloween anymore. LMAO. Um, I don't know what the new. Ooh. This is good. There. Okay. The perfect uh status thing. Um you know how I'm, how much I love those. What the fuck? jail okay anyway um i also need to change it to art as a treat i probably shouldn't be drawing right now to be completely honest with you oh two times that's good um classic uh banning him twice But anyway, so I've changed it to art. Cool. And then Okay, I sh probably shouldn't be drawing right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. I um Realistically should do homework or something Or the painting that we've been working on but I won't do that um, because I'm evil actually um ooh, That was that was pleasant um My grandma is calling me hold on give me like two seconds
Sorry. My grandma called. Hi, cat. I love you and would die for you. How are you today? Good, I pray. Oh, sh oh no! Well, I'm glad I re managed to remind you. Um, I hope the call goes well if you decide to do that right now. Oh shit. The message is a good sign. I hope it it was not a sad message or anything. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear. Little past speed, little past just zero. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, you know, um, you can't all be winners, I suppose. I think I'd be a shit, like, if I didn't live with my parents, I'd be really bad about calling them. Because I just wouldn't want to. Um, <clears throat> oops. <clears throat> so quirky. Um, actually, I'm, I'm pretty bad about it right now. Um, well, I'm better about it than I thought I'd be. Um, but that's just because Grace is gone as well. Oops. Okay. Um, but they're all on vacation right now, so I'm alone in the house. Um. So it's, um, you know, quiet or whatever. Um. What was I saying? I don't even remember. I don't. I don't think I was saying it properly, which is the the best part. I agree. I the the idea of being alone in the house sounds nice in theory, but I don't have anybody to talk to. Um, because I don't have any um friends besides. Grace, who is my sister. Um, so, and of course, I decided to take the week off of work, so I don't have anything to fill my day. So I'm just sitting here. Is it last week for moving out by <laughs> what are you doing here um anyway sorry um well i hope it went okay emptying the dehumidifier unless you need to go do that now i'm confused this baby so someday mama me only left the note on the door she said son you move out to the country Kids are talking, gave you a heart attack. <laughs> That's okay. I love you. We are chatting. Is that all you get for your money? Um. Uh, whoo! 
always walk on the beach. At night he becomes a bartender. He looks at Mr. Ketchup dies down on Sullivan Street. Across from the medical center. Oh, you all! I don't even know. Sorry, I'm going to But I had more, so I can go. Anyway. No. God. It is not. The kitchen right now? Don't tell my parents. It's a fucking nightmare. Um. It's really bad. Um, and I, I cleaned it not too long ago. Like, a couple days ago. And you kind of think... That's good enough. But then you use the kitchen again. And it gets bad after like one use. If you're not good about cleaning the kitchen as you go. And I, not being in a good mood today, just left everything everywhere. So I have my work cut out for me tomorrow. Because I have a bunch of homework I need to do. Which I'm not doing now. Oops. Um... Ew. Um. Because I have a bunch of homework to do tomorrow. And then I have to like finish. I have to re-clean. Um. Before they get back on Saturday. And like. I feel like if I do it on Friday. Any like leftover dishes will probably be fine to leave. Especially considering that I'm going to try my best. To not cook. Again. That didn't make any sense. I will be eating, but I won't be, like, cooking. You know what I mean? Um, Because I'm supposed to have my um, all, meals all prepped and ready for me. And I did do that this... Um, whoops. Um, I did do that this week. Um, problem is, is that I got super sad... I don't want to say, like, depressed or anything, but maybe. I don't know. Um. But. I just don't. I just didn't want to eat what I had made. Hell yeah, meal prep. But I didn't want to eat what I had made, so. The Morbius? (laughs) That was really bad. Um. Fuck, it's been a minute. I like this song already. But no hurt. No no uh harm in checking. Um But yeah, point is is I will not Oh uh, uh old people phrase. Um But, yeah, I'm exhausted and lonely and stressed. Deciding to apply for a job that just recently posted and then managing to get an interview and then doing the interview all while I'm by myself, haven't seen a person I've liked for six days, hasn't been the correct course of action. I almost canceled stream today, but I knew that if I did, I would just be in bed crying. So, we're here, not doing anything I'm supposed to, but I figured it'd be better than wallowing. You know? It has been pretty fucking terrible. And the worst part is I, like, keep bringing it up to people where I'm just like, yeah, I'm... Hi, love you, miss you. But I keep, like, bringing it up to people, and I'm like, yeah, I'm insanely lonely and sad. And they're just like, yeah, uh, having the house to yourself must be great. Shut the fuck up. I'm sad. Whore. Actually. I'm talking about my grandma. She's the only one who said that. Well, that's not true. It's been a couple of people. But mostly my grandma. And I'm like, grandma, I'm literally sad. Can you, like, listen to me for ten seconds? Man, we hung out on Halloween, right? It's okay. Um, unfortunately, stream is kind of like one of the only places I have to like talk about shit that pisses me off or upsets me. Um, sorry, love you. It's um complaining hour. Um, but we hung out or whatever on Halloween, so that Monday. Um, and that was why I didn't do the Halloween stream on 
Halloween um, when I probably could have. Um, but I was like, yeah, she just did a bunch of weird shit. And then my grandpa showed up and made things weird. It was, I feel like I've talked about this with somebody. I just don't remember who. Um, so I'll just not talk about it anymore. Um, Um, and I miss you guys too. The house is so quiet. Truffle makes scary noises upstairs. Have fun uh, with your grandma call. When you're talking in your sleep. Your growl? Oh, grandma call. <laughs> what the fuck? Growl? Um. Grandma call, yeah. Um. Okay, yeah, we gotta talk about something, otherwise I will start to get sad. Um, now, okay, dude, now that you're here, um, which one do you want to be? Hold on, let me. The bottom. Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> they're, they're different. Um... Also, how how do you want to look? Do you want your hair in a certain way or anything? Not rotate, dumbass. Horizontal? Thank you, dipshit. Um, it's okay. Um, it it'll, it'll be fast. Um, where are you going? By the way. Um, okay, so the cur one currently on the top is, like, whispering into the receiver, and then the one on the bottom is, like, twirling the phone line or whatever. Um, also, up for debate, it doesn't, you can, if you have a phone, ugh, homework at, on vacation? Gross. Um, also, I hope you have a nice time at the vending machine. But, um, if you have a different hand pose, I am listening. Also, I've fucking forgotten what you look like. <laughs> You've been gone too long. I don't remember. So it's going to be inaccurate. So feel free to send me images. <laughs> Love you. So, see the Maybe ah, uh, toward the line. Okay, you. This will be you. I'm just gonna see if I got boo. How long do you think it'll take? That's true. Not sugar free, my TV ain't HD. That's too real. Um, homework. Sweet eyes. Yeah. Sweet eyes. Activity, like, math activities? Math activities? Landscape and a housekeep. Man, why would you think I want that? Stars aren't always kept you warm. Math activities. Boo. Boo. I see the world. 
And the water is exactly what I wanted. Is everything I wanted here? But this evil love is getting trickier. Uh, maybe. Hold on. I'll check right now. Because I certainly didn't ignore it like everybody told me to. But that was like after I'd responded, to be honest. I was like, I guess I'll just ask what message. And then I did. Wow, I don't care. Why do I have so many notifications? What the fuck is going on? It doesn't look like it, but hold on. Uh-uh. It's funny because I responded like eight minutes later, so I don't understand why. So it's probably a fake guy. Um, Really weird, though. Because it's not like a weird looking number or anything. Oh, two minutes sounds adequate. Um, I don't know, man. It's It, it had a normal number and everything. Because I've seen like spam numbers before. They almost look like fucking emails a little bit. Um, but... No, I mean, obviously not. Um, I'm loving this to your own. <laughs> like, Pandora? Sorry. Um,. I keep forget- let me write it down. Now that I'm not doing- <laughs> Well, I'm glad. Um, I'm also a big fan. That's half the reason I got on stream. Congrats on no spam text. That's really hot. Um, song request thing. Um... I think there's probably some way. I'm going to go look at it. Should I? Probably not. But. So, ooh. Prep soon. My arch enemy it, um, rejoined the um, Discord server. That I'm in with my buddies. And I, God, I'm so excited to hear what comes of that. I don't interact with him, but. Tommy! <laughs> okay, you're, you're right. Um, that's my, um, that's my Twitch streamer, um, arch enemy. My, um, other arch enemy <clears throat> is. The other guy. Twenemy. Huh. T like. Two enemy? Like what? Huh? Okay. Extensions. Here we go. Switch. Okay. Twitch enemy. You're right. Thank you for a few for Okay, have a good time. Be right back, gang. Spot if fuck. Okay, here we go. Oh, never mind. Not real. Fake, actually. Choose the next song. Ooh, okay, here we go. All right. Do I have to use bits, though? I don't want to use bits. Please leave me alone.
Here's another question from before besides going to the just Oh, boo. Sorry about your cavity. Um, I, ho I hope it's over. Um... It's a panel, which I fucking hate. Um, anyway, I'll deal with that later. I don't know why I... Three hours? Jeez. Oh, I'm glad it's over now. Um. Okay, I'm going to do the color palette, and then we're going to have to pop back over to um, Illustrator, because I can't... Um, what colors are poker tables? Hold on. Because they're, like, green sometimes, but I don't know what shade. I guess it depends. Some of them are blue. So I guess it's up to me. White, obviously. Black, obviously. I could do green, but I fucking hate green. But blue is like kind of dog shit. Going back to poker tables. There's like a, this kind of teal color. Hold on. That one feels a little better. Welcome back from the vending machine. Um. Okay. I don't. I don't really feel like sketching it further, mainly because my wrist hurts. So I'm just gonna... You're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing for a second. No, vending machine all? Yeah, what'd you get? What the hell is this? Oh, it's SZA. Okay, please continue. But only because you're SZA. What the fuck was I- Illustrator. <sighs> the song really distracted me. Okay. Okay, now. Web. 19. 
Twenty by twenty. What happened? I love Halloween and I love yous. What's what's going on? Okay. Sweet. Oh shit! I forgot gore. Alt. I forgot which one it was for a second. I want to. Man, my skin is it disgustingly dry on my face specifically. Okay. Ref. Probably just lock that. Background. I was on my lunch break and listening to an audiobook that I knew was due soon, and I shaved for us. Pile. Oh my god. That's so evil. That. <laughs> Unless you were listening. To it at work. Oh wait, you were on your lunch break. Never mind. Fucking pay attention, dipshit. Jesus. Thank you for the colors. Also, um, I don't think I'm gonna get much done today. I'm God. I'm fucking exhausted, dude. Oh, just do that. Nineteen twenty by. 1080. Fucking idiot. Sweet. Okay, and then we'll just lock mm -hmm. that one. Card. That's fair. Let's see how much I get done with my math. So <laughs> much. I mean, you're literally on vacation. I wouldn't get much done either. Just make it white, dumbass. Hey, where'd you go, buddy? Come back. Luckily, we ran out of stuff to do at work. So we go. Oh, congrats! Damn! Really got to close. I'm gonna move this for a sec. Hey! Thank you. So... Where... Here it is. Horizontal distribute center. Vertical distribute center. Dumbass. There we go. <sighs> okay, so what I'm thinking is we have. Because this would be like the t title intro. I don't fucking know. I'm thinking about anime. Uh, this is for the podcast. I forgot if I said. Um. Also about to do this, do the same with my next audiobook. I have nine days this time, unless I turn it and check it out later. God, listening to audiobooks where they just disappear must be so fucking annoying. I'm so sorry. I hope you finish it. Okay, so this is the actual card. Let me look up <gasps> card backs. 
not really. Okay, thank you. I was like, I don't want Magic the Gathering, but fucking thanks. These are cool. These are needlessly complicated and I won't be doing anything of the sort. This is a classic um, card back. Mm, yummy, yummy card decks, yeah. If I did one, that'd be fine, because then I could just... Okay, so it just seems like it's... A lot of the time, it's like a repeating design. Just go across. Except for that one. Fuck that one. I won't do that one. I'll have, I'll probably have to sketch that one out. Use her ass. Okay, anyway. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I don't know why I clicked on that. Idiot. Oh, what the? Fuck? New button. Jesus. <laughs> the touch of pawn stars. Oh, good. I've never seen pawn stars. Is it? Is it good? Is it? Are you watching it in the hotel room or something? See, this is why you're never gonna get anything done. <laughs> it's. Well, don't leave us hanging. <laughs> How is it crazy? Okay. Duplicate, transform, reflect, perfect. Fashion. It starts with the compilation. Uh oh. Is it? Yeah. You love cable TV. Somebody stop her. I clicked on the thank you. You fucking idiot. What did I there? Jesus. You know, <laughs> done everything to get yeah. And it's always funny when you're just like, yeah, I can work on stuff when um I've got a movie playing in the background and I'm like, I don't know how. Oh. Who did this? Who made this? Love you, Storage Wars. I do love a good Storage Wars. I won't even lie. No, I want to subtract. There. Um. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I want this. Properties, please. This is... My illustrator's a nightmare. Who did this? Okay. Uh, this one, please. Is there still another one? Or what the fuck is happening? Okay, um, who did this? Okay, not that much. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
unfortunately have to go, which I'm not happy. <laughs> I am not either. I love you. Uh, I have something fun. Are you supposed to have something in there? Or I'm try. Okay, have fun or try. Love you. The way you are. Okay, I actually need card fronts. Cause I'm about to get crazy with like do borders and shit, but I don't really think there's borders. <laughs> okay, there's literally not. Um, I do need to find a good font though. Um, so that is true. I'm I'm not sure. Um, I might get wild with it. Who knows? I doubt it though. Flip it. Reflect. Beautiful. Good. Bye. Love you. Miss you already. I fucking love the song. I have to go like it. You know, I gotta say, it doesn't. I'm not jazzed that um, I know how to animate in Photoshop. Like, I almost wished I didn't know how. Um, because now it feels like it's the only place I can animate at because of the brush. Um, I feel like once you get into more complicated shit, you'd probably have to go to a different program. But... I almost started animating something in um, Photoshop for fun, which is disgusting. So I'm headed for California. That feels good. Just as a little treat, yeah. I so I applied to work at a library, and that was what, where the interview was at. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, it was really funny to have to admit that I haven't read in a while. Ooh, yeah. It was really... So, she was talking about how they do, like, programs or whatever um, for, like, kids and junk. And so, um... She... Um... I she was just like, "What are your future plans?" And I was like, "Yeah, I figured a question like this was gonna, po it was gonna pop up. So glad you asked. Cause I, cause I have no fucking idea. Not right now. Um, if if she had asked me like, okay, well, <laughs> um, if she had asked me like a couple months ago, I probably would have been able to, to well, maybe a year ago." I would have been more sure, but now, God, I have no fucking idea, and I couldn't tell you. Um, so she was like, "Well, something art related," um, and I told her that I was thinking about teaching, but I don't even know that's true anymore. Um, I love lying, maybe I don't know. Um, but she was just like, "Oh, would you be willing to teach um art classes or whatever for like the kids or whatever?" And that sounds kind of neat and cool. Um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
Um, that's a good quit. Yeah, that's kind of how it felt. And I don't know. It would probably be a good change or whatever. And it like I wouldn't. <laughs> There'd be a lot I wouldn't have to worry about, like the inevitable collapse of the current place I am employed at, because it is pretty. It is. It's a fucking nightmare right now. Um. Um. That is very bright. Can we like desaturate that or something? I'm out of time. I'm out of my head when you're not around. Um. Where I'm out of my head when you're not around. Um. What the fuck was I saying? I don't remember. <laughs> Oops. Well, don't worry about it. Um. Oh yeah, she she asked me if I would teach like art classes for kids, and I think that'd fucking rock. Um. However, I'm scared. I'm just a, I'm just a little guy, who actually hates the idea of change, and kind of planned on killing myself in the next like couple months, so I wouldn't have to. Um, make a decision on what to do with my future. I'm just kidding. That did sound a little concerning. Um, I'm not sure. Um, she mentioned that there was like an anime club thing, anime thingy that they were doing, um, for like 12 year olds, I believe, um, in that age range, like the the kids that would be um interested in anime so like middle schoolers so <laughs> when when i say middle schoolers i'm not as interested but i do think it'd be fun because i feel like the anime middle schoolers would probably be like interested in what i have to teach them um how to make an oc basically um which would be really funny um sorry love you uh We'll move on. Um, unfortunately, that's literally all I have to talk about because it's all that's happened to me for the past, like, four days. <laughs> well, welcome back. Love you, too. Um, I do hate to be concerning. Um, I am just not in a very good headspace. Um, my interview... Because, again, it is the uh, valiant try. Yeah. Um, stop doing that. Um, I am... We're an illustrator now. Look at me. I'm not in Maya anymore. I'm an illustrator. All right. Good talk. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't try it. Well, we can't all be winners. Um, well, I have a good base for... The cold call, um, logo, or whatever the hell this is. I don't. It's not really a logo. It's a bit big. Um, but I figured if I did it in, I do like this. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna do, cause there's. I don't know if you can put an Illustrator file. Ace is the best card, and I did hearts cause I'm annoying. I could do spades if you wanted. You are a part of the podcast, so let me know. Um. Or the other one. Or diamond, but it, that's the most boring one. Show you my emotions. But anyway, I figured um the the heart would do it'd be the most interesting and it'd also give me um access to the color red. <laughs> um but anyway. So what was I talking about? It sounds like another sad love song. Oh yeah. I was talking about what what I'm, what my plan is for whatever the fuck this is. So it's not the logo per se. It's got the logo in it. Um, interview. I don't think there's anything else noteworthy in the interview besides the book that I recommended to her. She's just like, I like murder mysteries, and I was like, well, I just read a a really fucking good one. Um, and she was like, 
oh, let me write it down. And I was like, yes, you should write it down. Um, It's weird how, like, confident I suddenly become in situations like that where I'm super nervous until I get there. And then when I get there, it's like, I guess I'll be a normal fucking person. It's really weird and dumb and I hate it. Anyway, um, back to this. Um, My book, yes. I'm trying to read Subterranean Fire right now. Haven't touched it in like two weeks. So I kind of lied to her. I was just like, yeah, I'm trying to get back into reading. Um, Because I used to be a big reader when I was a kid. But, you know, I kind of fell off in the middle there. Um, And then was talking about how I was trying to read a fiction book and then a nonfiction book every, like every other or whatever. Um, But that's become a lie because I haven't touched Subterranean Fire in like weeks. Mainly because it's such a shit format. I just don't fucking want to read it. Um, It's long, wordy, and... I don't feel like I'll finish it. It's like spreading revolution, but better. <gasps> I forgot. I was going to send you a TikTok. Um, dude. It's like a month. It's because we haven't been to Big B. Um, I'm going to send the TikTok. Hold on. Let me go get it. But. Um, that's another thing I've missed is going outside. Now that the hammock is gone. There's no point in going out there. And I don't know where mom put it. Otherwise, I'd put it back up. And I'd be like, I'll take it down when it starts snowing. But I want it now. <laughs> you know? I want to go outside. Okay. Where did I put TikTok on my phone? Somebody fucking used something. Is it? Yeah, that, I, I'm pretty sure it's in the shed. I just don't. Sh shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Um, what the hell is this? I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, oh, hey, my boyfriend sent me a TikTok. Time to watch it right now at the most inopportune time. Perfect time. Yeah. Okay. I watched it. It was dorky as always. Okay. I have the link. Gay lover TikToks. Yeah. Um, he's been sending me a lot of um otter ones. So I drew his persona the other day. I also drew mine, but that's beside the point. They turned out kind of fun. I'll show you them in a minute. Um. Okay, I'm putting the TikTok in general on the Discord. And it is for maybe a cat specifically. Um, love you. Okay, let me go get my... Don't Nobody fucking look at anything. What was I looking for? My fursanas. Okay. Our fursanas. So this is me. I'm the seal. With a little hat on. I'm just a little guy with a hat on. Oh, yeah. Because it's for... It was for maybe a cat. Seal. Um, and then this one is my friend. I'm I'm in paint tool slime. Paint tool slime. Okay. And this one is my friend. Um So we are sea creatures together. At awkwardly they're awkwardly placed on the canvas as well. Otter, thank you. Um They're just little guys. Um so first are really fun. No, I don't need to say that. Yes, I do want to say this. Um oh my god, nobody look at anything. That particular what cold call sketch. Um, I 
I'm gonna save this. There we go. And then I'm gonna pop open the thing I was working on earlier, mainly because I can't. There, I'm trying really, really hard to not fuck up my wrist or whatever any further than I already have these past couple of days. I should have started wearing the wrist brace again, like a week or so ago, but I'm a fucking idiot. Um, and decided not to. So I think I saved this. Um, so we're gonna try and can use my mouse while we're here. Um which means we're probably gonna end up playing a game. Um but after I finish this, because I'm really close to having this assignment done. I just have to move the um Uh, I have to move the the room, the actual room back. And now that I'm back in Maya, I'll use it properly. Um, she is not happy with me right now. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Honestly, I'm kind of rocking with the TV. Like, I'm not very good at 3D modeling because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, But the TV turned out kind of cool. Because it's got, like, the curved screen or whatever. The bean bags are ass, but that's okay. Thank you. Um, I don't remember if she wants us to have a ceiling or not. Like a active ceiling. That kind of fucking suck. I'll do it, but I won't be happy about it. I was about to take a drink of water from an open cup last night. All vinegar. Oops. Well, I'm glad you didn't. You saved yourself. I gurgle about the legs. Because unfortunately, if you, um, whoa, where am I? There we go. Um, okay. The chair is really funny to me because, like, it's one of the least detailed things in the room. Like, the lamp looks normal. Like, it looks like a lamp. Just don't look on the inside. Um, And then the bed just looks like low poly. I wish I could smooth it out, but I don't know how. So, I won't. Um, I like the low poly anyway. Um, yes, okay, now I'll do a floor. If you get close, it <laughs> the two pieces aren't attached. So if it's <laughs> um, it looks like a void because we're just far away. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine, actually. Just like real life shades, yeah. They just kind of float there. Bitch, like, yo. I gore gore. Cheerios. Yo. It's really hard to look in there now. Whoa. And now things clip through the floor. And honestly, that's the will of God. You know my race because I got got a sock and I got little pinkies. Um, I don't know how to turn this in, to be honest with you. Um, like, I don't know if she wants us to, if she wants us to render it out, I might kill myself. Because I don't know how to do that. Like, literally next to no fucking idea. Because, uh, newsflash, she hasn't fucking taught us. It's, and honestly, I I wouldn't blame you for not knowing because um you're you're not in the class, but I am, and I don't know how. Mr. Jonas, what are you doing here? I think it's Mr. Jonas. It is. Um, hi, Mr. Jonas. Yes, so. World's most ominous room. I don't know if she wants us to have, like, a door door. Like, uh, with a... An actual, like... Like, a fucking... I'll just make one. Just in case. Haha, what was that? Don't do that. Someone is afraid to get close. Okay. I'll just take this, which I made earlier, because I don't feel like making another one. Someone is afraid to get to. I think we used this one time in science. Maya? That'd be crazy. Um, it fucking sucks. I wouldn't recommend returning. Um, cause like, I mean, okay. Sitting me down in front of the program and saying, go ahead, I don't want to say is a positive learning experience. Um, Um, I should make this bigger. Uh, Master Space. 
um I forgot how to use the program for a second. Um haha <laughs> Where are you going there, buddy? What was that? No, no, no. Um. What was I saying? I don't remember. Sorry. Love you. Um. I'm sure it was going to be really funny or something. Or it, pro it realistically it was probably just going to be me complaining, so never mind. Oh my god, it was, it was pretty quiet. Did you want me to turn it up? I can I can do that. I'll 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 pop it up a little bit, even though the song's fucking over. I love you. Um the fuck is that? Oh wait, never mind, it's Love Don't Change by Jeremiah. Or Jeremy. I'm not sure. Okay. Awesome. The problem is, is that when you rotate things, they don't rotate as a monolith. Which pisses me off. No love ain't easy. Baby, sometimes. Sometimes been gone for so long. If it hurts. Been through the worst. Love don't change. Okay. Sweet. Success. Now I have my ominous, ominously um, created room. I tried to make it look 80s. I don't... You can't really tell because it's um gray and fucking ugly. Um, How do you shade smooth? Igor Gore. Display smoothness. Press 5. For so long. I know there's a way to make it look smooth, but I guess it's not working. Um, so there's that, I guess. Let me... I'm gonna save it. The door is so silly. The windows took me fucking forever, by the way. Um, you'd think the bookshelf would have been bad, but I just copy-pasted a lot. Um, or duplicated, or fucking whatever. It's better. Or worse. Nobody fucking look at anything. Okay, there. Um, I have to log into my school really quick. Thank you for not looking. If it works, then do the worst. Okay. Maya room build. It doesn't need to be textured and lit yet. Okay, I just need a screenshot. Um, okay, well, since I have it open, I'm just going to pop this back open and turn it in really quick. Um, hope you don't mind. And then we'll have to either uh, tell me to fuck off 
or we play a game. I am fine with either one, I think. As soon as I get off stream, I'm going to bed. I don't have any... Um, I'm turning in my Maya assignment, and then we can either end the stream or play a game. The walls piss me off so fucking bad. I'm gonna take the ceiling off. And I'm just gonna take a, a screenshot of it that way. So I like how the record box turned out, and I like how... Okay, there's so much in here that I want to make sure she sees that I did. Um, A screenshot isn't cutting it for me. Let me turn in the whole thing. Actually need to save the screenshot, dumbass. Just drag and drop. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Here it is. So, there's 3D done. And honestly... <laughs> 3D is my best friend right now. In regards to... Stuff I need to do. I think 2D animation will probably be fine as well. I think I finished it, but I don't know how detailed she wants it to be. Hold on, let me pop these open. I never showed you my um, storyboard, did I? Hold on. I'll do that. Um, since I'm just kind of fucking around, trying not to be by myself. <laughs> um, so... Actually, why don't I just get out this, the, um, I literally have a PowerPoint or whatever the fuck. Not a PowerPoint, but like a Google Drive thing. Gromail. Um, so you can actually see it in like a storyboard format, I guess. I don't know. Drive. Here it is. No. Because then the rest of the semester, this is what we're working on. We're doing like a a one minute final animation thing. And half of it is due in two weeks. And then I guess she wants us to do more of it. Um, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, alt. So... Here's this. Um, so it's supposed to be. How do you full screen this? Figured it out. Um, so it's Gord, obviously. Um, and so he's like getting ready, and then the doorbell rings. And then he's... This is the... Yes! 
It is. I I didn't feel like looking up one of my own references for Jimmy, so he doesn't look anything like Jimmy, but that's okay. Um, he does a little bit, like functionally, but like you, know, you get it. So he's like, "Oh no, the doorbell rang." Um, so he's like, "I'll get it," and like freaks out, and he's trying to like pick up the um corsage or whatever. So he runs downstairs, um, because he doesn't want his mom to get the door um and find out that he's going to prom or wherever the fuck with a boy um so he i was like don't worry it's it's just my friend we're gonna go together um he's driving us okay bye um and then she's just like gord come back (laughs) what and like scolds him for trying to leave or whatever. It's like you'll be back by whatever time, and, you know. He's just he's like, yeah, okay. Um, and then he's like, whoo, she's gone. Um, and then Jimmy pops out of the bushes. <laughs> it's just like, did you really have to shove me in the bushes? And uh, then he, uh, Gord gives him the corsage, and it's all great. And then they go to prom together. I I only have a minute, so it had to be simple. So it's nothing crazy, obviously. Um, this one's crazy. Like this, I really like how he turned out here. Um, thank you. I am really excited to like do more with it. Um, like I do think I set myself up for success in this regard. Um, because she also wants us to like she meant she showed us a i'll leave it on this one um she showed us a fucking scene from up um the scene in particular was the um like when the at the beginning of the movie when uh you're kind of like going through ellie and carl's life or whatever um And there's, like, no sound, and it's just Ellie and Carl, and they're just kind of going. Um, and then she, and then they, so, so like, they get married, and then they move into a house, and they paint it, and they have their jobs. It shows Carl, like, doing the balloons, and Ellie doing the, the bird shit. Um, and then, like, they, like, find out that she can't have kids, and blah, blah, blah. So, it... The whole point of that, so this has, and she, and my God, did she make that the most obvious? She's just like, haha, I'm going to make you sad. It's like, okay, man, I really don't just show me the fucking clip and then teach the class. I'm on my knees begging here because I had already learned this lesson. The exact same lesson about color using the Carl and Ellie clip. I got it. She's bright and he's not. Fucking mint. I got it. Right? Because in the clip, they use color and like shadow, I suppose, to like show that Ellie is a very bright and happy person and Carl is more of a muted, like, calmer kind of guy. Um, but... So, like, when they find out that she can't have kids, um, it gets, like, really gray and she's really sad and she's doesn't have as much color. Um, and then, like, in the parts where... Uh, Ellie puts on Carl's tie form every day. It's always a colorful tie. Like all of the other parts of him are really muted and dull. Um, but Ellie putting on the tie, it's typically a bright colored tie. Um, but the last tie she puts on is like a black tie. So it's like, oh no, it's foreboding her death because like she's leaving him or whatever so like the color shows it like that was the lesson was that it it means something typically right so she wanted us to take four of our storyboards and then color script them which is just coloring them in um so that's 
Nobody fucking look at anything. This, this makes me feel like I feel when I'm with you alone. Oh, wait, I literally have it open already. Thank you. Um, the worst color script. Thank you for looking at that one first. Um, so I'm a whore. And like, don't get me wrong. The lesson having to learn it was annoying. Putting it into, putting it into practice. Say no more. Um, okay, have a good time. I hate packing, but I wish you luck. Um, but so I was like really annoying with it. Um, oh, for the longest time, oh, for the longest time. Okay, sorry. Um, so my color scripts when he's so like the mirror is his true self or whatever um the duller version is like the because he's not as bright because it's not his true self blah 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 um then like his room is also reminiscent of that like more muted colors because he doesn't get to be who he is um even when he's by himself but it is you know it's supposed to be more colorful in here than it is anywhere else in the house. Not that you'll see that. But out here, it's like browns, and that's pretty much it. Also, it's supposed to be a rich person house, and I didn't really have the capacity to, to give a fuck. Um, so when he's in his room, also, it's more muted or whatever because he's, like, hiding. Um, so he's, like, off topic. It's a good song. To be honest, a very good choir song or chorus or whatever, whatever you like. Um, so he is like nervous about going out into the light to like confront his mom because he has to like, I don't know, like he doesn't want to be seen. So I'll have to figure out a way to like make the shadows work for me because in the actual storyboard there aren't a whole lot of things that could cast a shadow onto him when he's out there. I'll figure something out. Um, but then, like, so outside is supposed to be representative of freedom, essentially, which is why it's, like, brighter, I suppose. Um, but, like, he's still trying to stay as much away from her as humanly possible. Um, and also his colors are, like, blue. Porch lights, I did consider that, which is why it's brighter here. Um, but this part... When he's inside, it's... I don't know what to do. But anyway. um, So... Which is also why the door is purple. It's, it's supposed to be, like, his color and, like, hope and escape or whatever. And then this one I already explained. And then when he's out there, um, everything's bright and cool and good. And he's hanging out with Jimmy and it's great. Um, Even though functionally it's darker, he is um brighter i guess um i'm sure that won't come across properly because i'm a bad colorer i guess because i don't care about this class uh, to be honest um it i <laughs> me too they're so silly <laughs> it's literally my favorite part um thank you for noticing um but so um okay on the topic of class and i know it's not a fun topic but i think it's funny um so the the past couple of weeks or like this past like the week before this one um and then a couple weeks before that my 3d animation class has been canceled i don't care cancel all you want i don't want to fucking be there anyway you know, like, I couldn't give less of a shit. Um, but, so she canceled the week before this one. I didn't think anything of it. She was just like, I'm really tired from seeing a bunch of high school students. It's like, man, I wasn't in high school that long ago. It exhausted me on the daily. I didn't ask for a day off the day after I saw a bunch of high schoolers. Okay, man, shut the fuck up. Um, come in and teach the class. Again, I don't care, but if I did, that's what I'd say. 
Um, so this week, she was late both days. Like, she, for the first, like, we're, like, halfway through the semester at this point. Like, we did um, midterms or what the fuck ever midterms. I'm in art classes, so they're, like, midterm project, I guess, but doesn't matter. So we're, like, halfway through the semester at this point. And so either she just suddenly decided to change her habits of getting to class early or something's up. Because last week she showed up late because she had just gotten off a plane. That made sense. This week she showed up late to both classes for fun. I fucking guess. Um, Because normally she gets there before I do and I get there at like nine when the class starts at 9 30 um or no yeah I just leave obscenely early I was like or is it eight it is not eight it is 9 30 um so 2d animation she shows up at like 9 20 and I'm like okay fucking whatever no big all right 15 minutes of her not showing up and I get to go home so, like, every time she's, like, vaguely late, like, she still gets there before class starts, obviously, but, like, every time she's, like, vaguely late, I'm, like, uh-oh, 15 minutes and then I get to leave, um, even though that kind of suck because I'm in college and also, um, waste a lot of gas to get there. Speaking of, um, my mom needs to tell me how much money I have in my bank account because I refuse to do the fucking calling thing on the bank account app. Because my app won't let me in unless I call someone. And I absolutely fucking refuse to call anybody. Especially after the day I've had. Um, and I need to pay for gas. Because, haha, I only have 30 miles left on my car. And um, she will start yelling at me. I.e. not estimate how many miles I can go anymore. Luckily, I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the week. Um, so, no worries there. But anyway... <laughs> just, shh, shh. I know it's scary, but I made it through today. Um, and I, there were no issues. I started the day with like eighty miles, and now we're at thirty. It's fine. So, anyway, so today the same thing happens where she shows up at like nine thirty. Um, I'm sorry, nine twenty. Um, at this point, I'm used to it. I'm like sitting out there, and I'm wa- like there. There's TVs in the like halls I guess they aren't even really halls because the building is so small it's like big room and then within the big room two smaller rooms that's how the basement is at least and then there's like rooms on the walls or whatever so I guess they could be considered hallways but just they just don't feel very hallway to me um but anyway there's TVs in there on the walls. And they've been playing the same video about some dude with autism who's a really good artist. Not to be like, I have autism and, a really, and I'm a really good artist, but I've been there, done that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, or am I? <laughs> Who knows? Um, but I actually think it's a dude I knew from high school. Um... I've been there doing it. Just saying. Um, but I think it was a dude I knew from high school, and he was an asshole. Um, cause I had another buddy, um, who we all sat next to each other in art class, ironically. Um, and he drew like really gory, like horror stuff, and the my buddy was like not into that. Um. And to be honest, neither was I. Um, and this kid would just show us stuff against our will. And my friend was just like, hey, man, stop. I don't want to see it. Um, so he was cool. Glad he's got a like 15 minute interview with some lady that infantilizes him and like asks his dad questions when... Literally, this dude is sitting, like, the interview is with the interviewer, the dude, um, and then the dude's dad. Dude, he's sitting right there. Just ask him the questions. He's fully capable of answering. I just, I just don't understand. 
Just ask him. The first question I shoot not was d- aimed at the dad. I'm like, whatever. Whatever, man. Not my interview, not my video. Um, He's actually improved quite a bit if it is, in fact, the same guy. Because back in high school, he was kind of shit. But now his stuff actually looks pretty good. Sorry I hit the mic, love you. Um, But anyway. Uh... Point is, is that I was sitting out there for a very long time and can start to quote the interview because of how long I've been s- sitting out there because of how early I get there and how late my teacher's been getting there. So, she finally arrives and she's ill. She's just like, okay. I don't feel very well, so we're going to mess around. And I was like, mess around? Madam, we have assignments. What the fuck are you doing? So what she ended up planning on doing, so the program that I was just in is called Maya. But there's another, there's like more than one 3D program, obviously. But there's another one where it's sculpting specific. That one's for modeling, and then ZBrush is the one that she wanted to mess around in. It's called... It's for sculpting. Which is basically just Play-Doh on the computer. Um, Whereas modeling, there's a lot more um, geometry involved. Like, you don't get to mush it as much you have to like think about it a little harder i don't like modeling Mm. just to let everybody know it is not fun um sculpting is where it's at but so she's like i'm just gonna sit you down in front of this tutorial play around zbrush while you watch it and i'm sitting there like trying to fit because she's like okay go get a tablet because you can like draw like, the tablet can kind of help you do, like, pen pressure and, like, not, like, gently, like, sculpt as opposed to, like, clicking, which when there wouldn't be any pen pressure. So, she sends us away to get tablets, and I'm like, okay, let's go get a tablet. So, I grab a tablet, I come back, I sit down, I pop up in ZBrush, and I have no the fuck idea what's going on. Brand new program, never been in it before, it... Because that's the thing about programs, is they all have different means of navigation, right? So there's, like, all the Illustrator and, like, the, I'm sorry, the Adobe programs, which if you, any, like, 2D visual, um, one, typically to grab the canvas and move it around, that's the space bar. Boop, space bar, and then your mouse hand like brush becomes the little hand and you can move the canvas wherever you want to go um scrolling is typically zooming in on sci but then it's of course different on photoshop for example where you have to press alt and scroll for it to zoom in because otherwise scrolling is just moving side to side which is fucking idiotic and i hate it fuck you photoshop daily reminder hate her um so in 3d the basic principle of space to move around is gone. Throw that shit out the window. In Blender, for example, it's the middle mouse button, which you use to um, rotate or whatever. And then, like, shift or control or something will let you move side to side if you're also using the middle mouse button. So Blender, a 3D program, is different from Maya, where Maya, you have to press Alt and the um, left mouse button to move around. And then, like, right mouse button to, like, zoom in with Alt. And it's... There's a lot of different ways to move around programs, is what that was, I guess. So, keeping all this in mind... Setting me into a brand new program, I'm going to assume it's going to be somewhat similar to Maya because she hasn't taught us 
fucking anything about the program. She is only just now opening the tutorial, which I'm not even going to be able to pay attention to because I sit in the back and the computer monitor sits high enough up to the point where I have to like crane my neck over it to be able to see. And believe it or not, because I sit in the back, there's other students sitting in front of me. So if I crane my neck over my monitor, I ha also have three other rows of computers to look past to see the fucking video. So hey, newsflash asshole, just send me the video and maybe I'll be able to, one, watch it on my own pace, two, pause it when I need to, and three, replay it when I need to. Whereas it, when she puts it in front of the class, it's going, and if I get stuck someplace, it's over. I'm not going to be able to do anything for the next 20 minutes because it's already gone past and I'm stuck. Because if you get stuck for any longer than, like, 10 seconds, you're done. You don't get to finish the tutorial anymore. It's fucking over. So, I'm, believe it or not, I get stuck on the first fucking thing. I eventually figure out how to navigate the program. It is similar to Maya in that you need the alt key, but I can't figure out how to zoom in or out because it's not control plus minus like it is everywhere else in literally every program imaginable. Um, and it's not any of the Maya versions. So I can't zoom in and out. That's problem number one. I figure, forget it. I don't need to zoom in or out. I'll just make things small so I can see everything. So that's the the, that's the course of action I decide to take. So I just make things small. Then, next problem is I can't find the sphere, the Z-sphere, or whatever the fuck, that he wants me to use. So I'm, I'm sitting there trying desperately to figure out where the fucking Z-sphere is because I missed that part when trying to figure out how to navigate the fucking program. So, and also... I was like trying to scroll through all the options. You had to click and drag through the menu. So that's why I couldn't find the fucking Z sphere is because you had to click and drag through the menu rather than scroll. So that's fucking ridiculous. Didn't even think about that possibility. Um, no, the program is super bad. I mean, okay, that's not true. I'm sure it's fine. It's just that I don't, I, I couldn't tell you anything about it because I didn't have the opportunity to be taught or learn anything about it. And you'll hear more about that in a second. So, worst come to worst, I, I eventually find the Z-Sphere. Against all fucking odds, I click on the Z-Sphere, it appears in the fucking window or some whatever. Right? So, it's in there and... But by now, so we're making a dwarf character or some shit from like Swords and Shovels or some shit. Some random ass man that he just made up, obviously, because that's fucking modeling, baby. That's what we're talking about. So he he's already made like arms and legs and hands and shit and like not like good ones, obviously, but the way the Z-Sphere worked is you it was a sphere and then you could pull like arms and legs from it which would like take other spheres and like sort of line them up to look like a cylinder if you pulled it the right way problem was i was stuck trying to find the z sphere in the first place so i couldn't i wasn't there i wasn't emotionally present for how to do that so i found the z sphere don't know how to find the thing that pulls the z sphere to make it look like a guy so finally at this point we're like a half hour into class i don't know what's going on i was thinking about just quitting and working on my color scripts again um because fuck that like what do you want me to do i i i'm so far behind i'm not gonna ask you to stop it because other people are clearly working on it and caught up like they are physically capable of managing to stay present through all of this whereas i'm dying drowning in new information that i haven't had time to process someone is like 
hey, how do you do this thing? And it was like something from the very beginning of the video. And she managed to have the balls to ask. And my teacher, who sounded bad, like her voice was like just shy. She's just like, who all has f- has finished their rooms? Not a sick. Not a single fucking soul has finished their rooms. That's what I just showed everyone was my rooms build or whatever. Um, and the assignment that's due next Monday, I think. Her assignment schedule in 3D is dog shit. It shouldn't be due on fucking Monday asshole it should be due on thursday because that's when class is if you assign something on fucking thursday and it's due monday i have half the amount of time to work on it so if i'm confused or stuck that's okay i'm just talking and it's not even about anything interesting i hope it was a good grawl grandma call um but so the what was I saying? I forgot. Point is, someone eventually sp- spoke up and was like, I don't know what's going on. And she was like, okay, who has finished the room? Oh, yeah, I was complaining about due dates. Um, So I only have, like, half the time to work on stuff in 3D in comparison to all my other classes. But anyway, um... So she is like, okay, who wants to work on the room sketch today? Literally every single motherfucker raised their hand. They're all just like, uh, yeah, I'd like to work on the assignment that's due next week. Um, that's what I, that's because that's what I thought we were going to do when we got there. I don't know where the fuck ZBrush came from. We don't even have any assignments from that we need to use ZBrush in like do so so we were just gonna use it we're just gonna like randomly learn this program for literally no reason and like don't get me wrong it's a cool program and i would actually genuinely enjoy learning how to use it it looked like a very cool and good program because sculpting in blender is very reminiscent of sculpting in zbrush whereas there's like different um, there's like a different UI for it and then there's like different brushes and you it, point is is it looked cool and I did genuinely lo- want to learn how to use ZBrush however it's like $35 a month so one I can't fucking afford it and two if we're not going to have any assignments due in it why would I learn how to use it when you're not going to make it a requirement Today was just fucking ridiculous because she was she was like I didn't want to cancel and I'm like okay you sound like ass and you weren't going to teach us anyway so I don't really understand why we're here but thank you for being a good teacher that rocked um anyway can you tell I love telling stories um I'm really annoying That's so okay. Thank you. And you will be so engaged when we start our podcast. Um, I do really need to sketch it out. Um first, and I wish I had done that. I stay the whole time. Wow, thank you. You probably shouldn't have. Um honestly. Stream lasted longer than I thought it would. Um, I know we didn't end up doing anything. Not really. <laughs> um, but I don't really want to play Limbo. Because we're stuck. Um, and the idea of returning to a game I am stuck on doesn't sound particularly pleasant. And we're probably going to play tomorrow anyway. Um, so I'm probably going to call it. Let me go. I am also glad you visited. I have missed you in chat. Um, even though you haven't been gone as much as you could be, realistically. 
Um. Yeah, wow, I can't be asked to rate. Oops. Um. So quirky. <laughs> um. That's so funny. Someone uploaded the entirety of Freebird 2013 to Twitter. Um. Oh, love you, baby cat. We're happy we saw you too. Um, okay, I will see everybody tomorrow. You are very welcome for stream. Um I love you and will miss you while I'm away. Bye.